Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Smitha. Welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to be recreating one of the most requested look of all time. As you can tell from the title, I'm recreating this look of Hande Achel, who is a beautiful Turkish actress. You probably know her as Hayat from Ask Laftan Alamas. But before we get started, please take a moment to subscribe if you're new here. I post videos every Tuesdays and Thursdays on everything related to beauty and skincare. And without further ado, let's get this started. First, to prime my face, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Primer. This has silica in it and I've always explained to you guys that I love primers with silica because it helps to blur out all the pores by filling it in. So this will smoothen the skin out before you apply anything else over it. And to achieve that flawless base, I have to color correct my face because my skin is not as good as Hayat's. So I will be using the orange crayon from e.l.f. and I'll be applying this directly on my face where I have dark circles, dark patches, dark spots. I will be spreading it out with my finger before I set it with the Artistry Loose Powder. And I always set my color correction with loose powder before I apply a foundation to prevent it from mixing with the foundation. For foundation, I'm going with the Lancome Tint Idle Ultra Wear Foundation in 430. This is a great foundation for summer because it doubles up as your sunscreen. It has an SPF of 15 and it's also long wear. It says 24 hours. It definitely lasts me at least 8 hours if not more. Some great drugstore alternatives are L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and Maybelline also has some great foundations like the Fit Me and the Dream Liquid Mousse. Although Hayat never has a harsh contour, she definitely has some visible highlights in most of her pictures. So to highlight my face, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. I'm going to be applying this on the highest planes of my face and I'm going to be blending this out with a beauty sponge. While I do that, I will also be using this to prime my lids before I apply any eyeshadows over it. To bake the concealer, I'm going to be using more of the Artistry Loose Powder with a damp beauty sponge and I'm doing this so I can set the concealer before it starts creasing and settling in the fine lines. With my eyebrows, I'm going to keep it as natural as possible because if you look at her brows, they're very natural, not even filled in. So I'm not filling in mine either. I'm just going to be combing it with a spoolie. Her signature eye makeup is a very light smoky eye just with a cool liner or a cudgel. She never even used harsh eyeshadows and that's up my alley because that's exactly the look I'm going for today and that is exactly the look that I wore every single day to work so it's in my comfort zone. With my NYX black eye pencil first I'm going to tight line my waterline and I'm going to be using the same pencil in my top lash line as well. It doesn't have to be perfect we will be smudging it anyway uh, but I'm using this pencil one because it's waterproof and second because it's retractable I don't have to keep sharpening the tip every time Next, using a pencil brush, I'm going to smoke this out in the entire top lash line as well as the outer third of my lower lash line. That. 
now that everything is smudged and smoked out I'm going to use my eye pencil one more time close to my lash line that way I intensify just my lash line so it goes from a darker color to a lighter color she has some super beautiful lashes so I'm going to be prepping my lashes for the falsies that's coming up next and for that I'm going to be curling my lashes and applying a coat of mascara the one that I'm using today is Big Shot from Maybelline My falsies are in the style Ain't No Wifey from Luxie Lash. I'm going to finish up my eye makeup with a coat of mascara for my lower lashes. I'm using the Wet n Wild Mega Length and I especially love this for my lower lashes just because of the way the wand is. It lengthens and separates out every single hair and it's also waterproof so it doesn't smudge easily. For that beautiful rose color blush, I'm going to go with the Pure Cosmetics 4-in-1 Blush Book and the blush that I'm going with is called Passionate. For that beautiful glow, I'm going to go with the Benne Lume Luxe Powder in the color Ice Gold. I'm going to take this and tap off the excess using my Doe Color Highlighter Brush and I'm going to dust it on the high planes of my face. That way the glow is very delicate and it's not harsh and concentrated in one place. Just before I finish up, I always like to take a spoolie and brush off my brows for any powders that might have fallen on my eyebrows that make it look dull. From her pictures, it almost seems like she goes with very nude colors on her lips, very peachy tones. Even if she has reds or oranges, it's very nude based red and orange. And for that reason, I'm going with Give Me Mocha from Wet n Wild. To finish up this look, I added some soft curls to my hair using a straightener and here is the completed look. Let me know how you guys like this look by commenting below and if you did like it, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and share this video. As always, I'm very grateful for all the comments and all the likes and all the shares and all the ratings. You guys are fantastic and I love you so much and I will see you again soon with another tutorial this Thursday. Bye guys! Be the one, and I know you wanna spend your time in a, a better place. What you really want, I know you cry, I know you try, I know.